It really seems like Essences are having a moment in KBD, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, Essences are always popular, but recently there seems to be a lot of new ones out there on the market. I mean, we've got first Essences, we've got traditional Essences, we've got single extract Essences, we have brightening Essences, like oy vey, it makes your head spin, right? So many Essences to choose from, but it makes sense. I mean, Essences are considered to be the essential step in your K-Beauty routine. They're different from toners in that they deliver a lot more concentrated ingredients into your skin, helping you with your skincare goals. But there's only one skincare goal that I wanna focus on in this video today, and that is hydration. So give this video a big thumbs up because today I wanna to share with you four essences that will deliver a lot of deep hydration into your skin. All four of these essences are meant to be used in the traditional essence step after toner prior to serum. So give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> Primera Miracle Seed Essence. Now this is gonna be really great for you guys who have dehydrated skin or who have weak moisture barriers. So this essence claims to create radiant and translucent skin all while using the miracle ingredients of lotus seed extract. While I would never ever claim that any one ingredient or one product can produce miracles for your skin, right? It is a little bit of over-promising marketing. I must admit that lotus seed extract is quite an intriguing ingredient with a lot of exciting benefits. So first off, lotus seed extract is rich in a natural moisturizing factor, amino acids. So, so good for binding hydration to the skin. But beyond that, it's actually also rich in linoleic acid. Yes, you have heard me talk about this before because it's very, very good for replenishing your moisture barrier. It's particularly very good for your lipid layer, allowing your skin to hold on to its own hydration better, aka decreasing dehydration. Ingredients that are high in linoleic acid actually can help with your skin's sebum production. It can help regulate the amount of keratin in your sebum, allowing your sebum to become a little bit more fluid. Now you might be like, I don't want my oil to be more fluid. I want it to stop, <laughs> right? No, this is actually really good for those of you who do suffer from acne and clogged pores particularly, which is always like a symptom of dehydration and a weak moisture barrier to begin with, clogged pores. Because when you reduce the amount of keratin in the sebum, the sebum is less likely to become stuck in your pores because it's no longer quite as thick, quite as cloggy, if you will. And so instead of getting trapped in your pores, creating clogs, or even worse, getting infected and causing acne, it can just flow through your pores. So this can actually help reduce skin texture over time. Pretty darn cool. Let's also add on to that that uh, lotus seed extract is also a really good antioxidant as well. So lots of benefits for the skin. Now you should also get a brightening benefit from using this essence because they're using a high amount of niacinamide. That is our brightening insurance when it comes to essences, right? High amount of niacinamide, plus there is also Saccharomyces ferment in here, which will help to brighten up the skin, but it also brings its own amino acids to the party and some natural beta-glucan as well. Great skin moisturizer. Now, as I stated at the beginning of the video, none of the essences we're talking about today are considered first essences, which would be an essence you would place after cleansing prior to toner. That being said, I do find that this essence, for me personally, actually works better prior to toner. The reason that I say that is because this is so deeply hydrating that I actually find myself um, adjusting the amount of toner that I use. I use less toner when I use this essence than when I'm not using this essence. So for me personally, I have found that it works better to use this essence first and then toner because then I can properly adjust the amount of toner that my skin needs, saving product, right? So the texture of this is, it's very uh, fluid and runny, but it does have some body to it. It does have a little bit of slip to it and that keeps me from describing it exclusively as like thin and watery. So it's very fluid, but it does have a little body to it absorbs very, very quickly. Now, there is some specific application instructions that come along with this essence that you should be aware of. 
They do want you to use a very specific amount, 2.5 milliliters, and the bottle itself is marked on the side with a guide to help you uh, shake out the proper amount every single time. And they really want you to use a cotton pad with this. Now, let me tell you, I am pretty much always against using cotton pads with essences or toners. There's two reasons for that. Number one, I personally feel that cotton pads absorb more product than they deliver into the skin. And number two, they create unnecessary waste that if you cannot use a cotton pad, probably a good thing, right? Um, this does apply to the skin better with a cotton pad. Like what? I don't know why that is, but it just does seem to make the essence like dive into your skin deeper. It delivers more hydration into your skin. I have no idea why that would be but I've tried it with my hands, I've tried it with cotton, and it works better with cotton. Go figure. This is a hydration bomb. This delivers such deep hydration into the skin. As I mentioned earlier, I naturally adjust the amount of toner that I use when I'm using this essence because I normally would do like between two and four layers of toner, sometimes up to four or five layers of toner. And with this, I need like one layer, maybe two. It's just that deeply hydrating for my skin. I did notice that this was very balancing and calming for my sensitive skin, for irritated areas on my face. I also did not notice a nice um, brightening benefit, just like a nice glowy, healthy look, uh, lit from within kind of glow to the face. And I really do appreciate that this is a very minimal ingredients list. No fragrance, no essential oils, no alcohol. It's a very gentle approach to a hydrating essence. Next up is the Make Preem Chaga Concentrate Essence. Now this is actually gonna be appropriate for all skin types, but this is gonna be especially good for you, those of you out there who have hypersensitive skin, a lot of sensitivities, and those of you who suffer from fungal acne. Now this is a single extract essence essence, meaning that it focuses in on only one star ingredient to get the job done, a really high concentration of that star ingredient. Doesn't always mean it's the only ingredient though. This uh, actually contains three ingredients, water, chaga, as well as a preservative. So I mean, probably one of the most minimal products around, right? Now, chaga as an ingredient has a very um, interesting benefit for the skin because as a mushroom, it's very hardy and resilient. Chaga mushrooms are only found in some of the harshest forest environments in the Northern Hemisphere. And because of such, it is a very resilient mushroom and it gives resilient benefits to skin. So it can actually help your skin fight off um, bacteria a lot better. It's a very antibacterial and antiviral type of ingredients, very protective for the skin. It also has soothing benefits for irritated skin. It's got a ton of antioxidants, so it actually makes it a decent anti-aging ingredient as well as being very protective. And just all, uh, all around a very regenerative ingredient, an ingredient that can help your skin heal itself and become stronger over time. Time. It really protects your skin. Now the texture of this is very watery and thin, very easily absorbed. This is actually the thinnest essence on this list and I really do feel like this can even like do double duty as a toner and an essence. You can layer this up if you want to. I would only go about two to three layers though because after that amount and you start to layer it up more, it can build up a bit on the skin and kind of create a little bit of like a greasy residue on the skin. So you gotta be careful, but you can't, your skin usually can tolerate about two to three layers of this without problem. Those of you who follow my blog may remember that I did recently review this essence and I did kind of state that it was a very solid product, but I was kind of on the fence about giving it a 100% glowing like rave review just because it was kind Kind of boring. <laughs> it's kind of a boring product and it is slightly expensive. This runs around the $40 to $50 mark for this essence. Chaga um, as, as an ingredient itself is a very expensive ingredient and so that is why it, it's a pricier essence. But this is unremarkable in the fact that it doesn't give a lot of visible benefits on the skin. It's not going to brighten up your skin. It's not going to give you a glowy complexion. It's probably not going to help improve your skin's texture. Although it does have um, some antibacterial benefits, it might help with acne. It's not going to directly affect like texture or clogged pores on your skin, right? 
So in that sense alone, it is hard for me to be like, oh my God, it's amazing, right? Because you're not going to see much happening on your skin. What's happening on your skin with this essence is happening on the inside. All of those antioxidants, all of that resilient benefit that it's going to give your skin over time, it's going to help make your skin stronger. So in that fact, this is a very solid product and I felt very strongly about including it in this grouping of essences because it is a minimal ingredients list. And as I said earlier, this is gonna be good for the most hypersensitive skin because there's very little in here for you to react to, right? So this is a very, very minimal product it can do double duty for you guys who like two in one as well. This could be a toner and an essence all in one for you, saving you some time, right? This is also fungal acne safe. This is also just a straightforward product. I have to admit, you know, compared to some of the products on this list that call themselves miracles, right? <laughs> Primera. Um, this just is straightforward. All this claims to do is to condition your skin and enhance its natural strength. And that's what it does. What this claims to do, it does. There are no like lofty promises. And I think that in itself is something that, you know, is a very good thing. So I do think that this essence is very solid and deserves a place on this list. Pyung Kang Yul Essence Toner. This is like a cult classic in the K-beauty community, right? So many people really love this product. Now, I really do recommend this one for people who have dry skin or combo skin that maybe lean slightly more on the dry side. This also happens to be a another fungal acne safe essence. Now this features 91.3% of an ingredient called astragalus root extract. This is a traditional medicinal Korean herb that has a ton of benefits for your skin. It's very um, good for anti-inflammation, for calming irritation on the skin. It also happens to be an excellent antioxidant but it's got a lot of anti-aging benefits too because it's packed full of flavonoids, sapions, amino acids, and polysaccharides. So it's got a lot going on and it makes up 91% of this essence. So you may be wondering, essence or toner? Toner or essence? It's kind of a confusing name. Now, I personally, in my experience, find this to be a very solid essence. For me, this just does not function as a toner. Um, I personally prefer toners that are very thin, lightweight, watery, that absorb in to the skin very quickly. This is not thin or lightweight or watery. And in fact, this is actually more of like a fluid gel texture. Um, it is a little bit thicker. It does absorb into the skin pretty well, but I must admit that this is a much thicker essence than any of the other ones that we're talking about today. This though has a very, very unique benefit for an essence in that it really is like a product that hugs hydration into your skin. It holds hydration in place. This is a very protective uh, essence. This is so, so good for cold weather as well. I'm, I'm starting to find that out. Now I did test this on only one side of my face. This is where I was like, this is where I was like, oh, I get it now, right? So I put essence toner on one side of my face and um, I did my regular skincare routine, but I didn't include it on the other side of my face. The essence toner side was visibly, like you could see the skin was plump. It was soft, it was choke choke to the feel and it felt from the inside, my skin felt so balanced and just comfortable and satisfied with hydration. This side, the one without essence toner, was not visibly plump. It did not feel plump. And in fact, throughout the day, it started to feel dehydrated. That is why I included this on the list because this is like your hydration insurance policy. Put this into your routine after using toner and you will be like guaranteed to have less dehydration. I definitely feel like you need to have a good layer of hydration underneath this, but this will keep your skin protected. It's such a cool and unique benefit, but it definitely deserves a place on this list as well. Oliverier Dual Moist Hyaluron Essence. I love this essence. I have not talked about it in a little while, but don't you worry because the love is still going strong for this one. Now this is really good for those of you out there who have a poor oil and water balance on your skin. This is also gonna be good for those with more dry skin and combination skin. You're gonna love this one. Now this actually um, provides moisture and hydration to the skin in a really balancing package. So star ingredients on this one are going to be um, hydrolyzed or micro hyaluronic acid. Super great humectant, 
attracts a lot of hydration to the skin. The other star ingredient here, and this is what makes this dual moist, by the way, is olive derived squalane oil. Squalane oil is a great moisturizer for the skin and it really helps to hug that hydration from the hyaluronic acid. It helps hug that hydration and hold it in place. Now, this also has antioxidants from centella and vitamin E, and we've got some further moisturize, moisturization coming from uh, coconut oil. The texture of this is so unique. This is a fluid, milky uh, texture, and it is both hydrating and moisturizing on the skin at the same time. I love the feeling of this. It's, it's very light. It sinks into the skin uh, quite quickly, but it does leave that really nice light balancing nourishment on your skin. That's why this is so great for a uh, dry skin because it's going to offer you that balance and moisture that your skin is craving. And it's also going to be good, as I said, for oil, uh, people who struggle with their oil and water balance because this is going to bring both uh, elements to the party very early on in your routine. This could be the ticket for making your skin feel as close to normal as possible, you know what I mean? So this definitely um, plumps your skin up. That's gonna come from the hyaluronic acid, but it also has a skin softening, a skin conditioning feel as well. And whenever I use this, like my skin just feels really, really happy, really balanced. And it's also very good for uh, those of you who suffer from irritation due to dry skin because this does have like calming benefit to it as well. So I'm curious to know, do you guys use essences in your routines? I, I've i gotten really essence crazy lately. I mean, I've been using first essences, traditional essences, like all in the same routine and I'm loving it. I am. So let me know what uh, essence you're using currently in the comment box below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I release two new Korean skincare focus videos every single week. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't actually miss when I upload those two videos every single week. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.